can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given that a and b are both positive real numbers, and also a and b satisfies this equation, logarithm of a to the base of 9 equals logarithm of b to the base of 12 equals logarithm of a plus b to the base of 16. Now the question is what is the numerical value of b over a? Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, in this question, the given is this equation, logarithm of a to the base of 9 equals logarithm of b to the base of 12 equals logarithm of a plus b to the base of 16, wherein a and b are both positive real numbers. And the question is, what is the numerical value of this expression b over a? Now, to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to use the property of exponents. Although we can solve this using the properties of logarithm, but in this video, I will use the property of exponents. All right, so first, let's equate this to a variable, and let's say all of this is equivalent to k. And from here, we have three equations, logarithm of a to the base of 9 equals k, another is logarithm of b to the base of 12 equals k, and the third one is logarithm of a plus b to the base of 16 equals k. And those logarithmic equations, we can convert this into an exponential equation. For example, the first one, logarithm of a to the base of 9 equals k, we can rewrite this as a equals 9 to the power of k. And the second equation, we can rewrite this as b equals 12 raised to the power of k. And the third one, we can rewrite this as a plus b equals 16 raised to the power of k. Now we will focus on these three results. And now observe that this 9 is just 3 raised to the power of 2. And using some loss of exponent, we can rewrite this as if we have x raised to the power of y raised to the power of c, we can rewrite this as x raised to the power of c raised to the power of y. So we can rewrite a as 3 raised to the power of k squared. Now from here, Let's focus on 12 because 12 is 2 squared times 3 or 4 times 3. Now using some loss of exponent, we can distribute this k to the exponent of 2 and 3 like this. Finally, focus on this 16 because 16 is 2 raised to the fourth power. And using some loss of exponent, we can rewrite this as 2 raised to the power of 4 times k. Now, from here, notice that a is equivalent to 3 raised to the power of k raised to the power of 2. And on the second equation, we have 3 raised to the power of k. So, let's focus on these two results. And using the second equation, let's solve for the value of 3 raised to the power of k in terms of b. So, divide both sides by 2 raised to the power of 2 times k. And now, let's use the value of 3 raised to the power of k and substitute it to this value, 3 raised to the power of k, like this. Now, if we square this, we get b squared over 2 raised to the power of 4k. Now, we have a value for 2 raised to the power of 4k. And here it is. Therefore, let's focus on these two results. And take note. 2 raised to the power of 4k is equivalent to a plus b. So we can replace this with a plus b. Now from here, we can now find the value of b over a. So first, let's multiply both sides by a plus b. And we get a squared plus ab equals b squared. Now let's focus on this. And what we're going to do is to divide all of this term by a because we want b over a. Now a squared over a squared is 1. ab over a squared is b over a b squared over a squared, we can rewrite this as b over a raised to the power of 2. Now focus on this. And what we're going to do is to equate this to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation in terms of b over a. So we can find the value of b over a using the quadratic formula like this. And now it seems like this is the value of b over a. But we have two values here, positive and negative. By the way, let's simplify first. 
negative of negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. There you have it. We have two possible values of B over A. But take note, A and B are both positive real numbers. So the ratio of B and A cannot be a negative number. So we can now disregard this negative value of B over A. Thus, B over A simply equivalent to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given that A and B are both possible real numbers, and it satisfies this equation, logarithm of A to the base of 9 equals logarithm of B to the base of 12 equals logarithm of A plus B to the base of 16, then the numerical value of B over A simply equivalent to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And as always, we are done.